Well, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you again here at Kingdom Life Ministries International. Dr. Tiaz Mligwe here saying welcome to a wonderful second Sunday of 2023 in January. want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching our programs and telling us and testifying that they're helping you. God bless you as you enjoy the service event today. Friends, I, I'm going to talk about um, the, mess, the subject that says it is possible. It is possible. You will hear what I'm talking about when I say it is possible. Let's read together from Psalm 89, verse 11. Psalm 89, verse 11. The Bible says, The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. And for the world, as for the world, and the fullness thereof, that means everything in it, thou hast founded them. Ladies and gentlemen, I want section A in particular of this scripture. It talks about the heavens belonging to God Almighty. It said the earth belongs to God. We, it, it, we have demarcated into different continents and different countries and different districts and so on. And we call some of these things by our names or, our, or the famous people in our area uh, call, call these areas by their names. And sometimes we hear some people even say, this is my area. This is my country. This is my district. This is my what, what. But the Bible says everything belongs to God. He created everything for, for, for himself in the world. Now watch this. I see parents. I see men. Working day and night. And some women working day and night. And you look at how much sacrifice they make. You look at how much they harness themselves in the job of working. And when you look at the idea of why fathers in particular work so hard, and mothers especially who are single work so hard, when you look at the whole idea, you find that they're not necessarily working for themselves. They're working for their children. If they have children, they are working for them. You, you, you find they risk their lives in some dangerous places where they work at. But they don't stop because in their heart they think of their children. Even if they're not Christians, all parents of the world under normal circumstances, they work so hard, not necessarily for themselves. They invest monies and, and they, 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 they save monies and, and buy things and properties and so on. But the idea at the back of the mind is children, children, children. Now what about our good God, our Father who created us? Whose we are also his. We are his, ladies and gentlemen. We are also his. Now, if men, ordinary people, even those who are not Christians, would sacrifice their lives and want to, to, be, to do the best for their children, how much more our good God? Listen to this. When we were born again, when we became children of God, God didn't just pick us up by the street. Jesus had to bleed. Jesus had to die to get us saved. To get us to a level where we are called children of God. I hear mothers when they give birth wherever, in the hospital or wherever, they, 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 they say a lot that they sacrifice, they sacrifice their blood, they sacrifice their lives. Some even die. But generally, they don't. Now, they can, when we compare how women suffer when they give birth and compare with Jesus when he wanted to give birth to the church, it is a vast difference. Because Jesus did not only bleed, he bled and even died. But thank God he rose again. Now mothers who give birth and die, they don't rise up again. So the, 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 with Jesus, the sacrifice was much higher. Listen to me, I know where I'm taking you to. I'm trying to bring a, a perception that you must not take yourself for granted. You are valuable and precious and, 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 and man, you are worthy. As a child of God, born of the Holy Ghost, uh, you know, through the blood of Jesus, you, you, you are, man, you are precious. Now, if the world belongs to God and the earth belongs to God and everything in it, 
And human parents work hard and buy properties and save monies and so on for their children. How much more God, Jehovah our Father? How much more? Now, let me tell you this. God, our Father, wants us to enjoy this life before we go and enjoy paradise. He wants us to enjoy this life. I want to prove it to you that we, we, it must be well with us in this very present life. Let me prove it to you. Go with me in your Bibles. Go with me in your Bibles. Let's go to... Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 29. I want to read it from the Amplified. My goodness, it's going to bless you, man. Chapter 29 of Jeremiah. And we're reading verse 11 from the Amplified. Oh, Lord God Almighty, thank you. The Bible says, this is God speaking. He says, for I know the thoughts and plans, thoughts and and plans, not thoughts only, not plans only, thoughts and, and as a conjunction of two things, thoughts and plans that I, Jehovah God, have for you, says the Lord, thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil, to give you, to give you, not borrow you, not sell you, to give you hope in your final outcome. My goodness. Friends, listen. God said to Israel some years ago, Israel, I got thoughts and plans that I have for you. My thoughts and plans are not to hurt you. They are not there. I don't, I'm not, I don't think evil thoughts. I don't, I don't think of hurting you. I don't think of, 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 of getting you into trouble. I think, the Lord says, I think thoughts and I have plans about my thoughts to give you, to give you man. Because everything is mine, so I can give you anything I want to. Nobody can change me, nobody can stop me. If I want to give you whatever, nothing can stop me because everything is mine. Child of God, come on, put up a smile and, and be happy, man. God says, uh, the earth is mine. Everything in the world that you see is mine. And I want to give it to you. I want to give it to you. God says, I got thoughts and I got plans. Friends, God thinks and then he plans the thoughts he thought. He thinks. And then after thinking of what to do for you, then he plans on how to give it to you. So, friends, you are there to be blessed. I want to believe that God brought us into 2023 to bless us. That's what he says. He says, I, I, I don't think evil thoughts. I don't think bad thoughts. I don't, I don't, I don't think of hurting you. I think, listen to this. He says, I think about your welfare. Oh my God. I think about your welfare. I think on, on how to make you well. On how to make things to be well with you. My plans are to make you well. Uh, my plans are to make your things well. My plans are to make things well for you. Not only that. He says... And to give you peace. And to give you peace. Now, the Hebrew word peace here does not only imply absence of trouble. Absence of, 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 of chaos. No. It also means two powerful things. Listen to this. It also means when God says, I want to give you peace, he means I want to give you in your life that there will be nothing broken. Glory to God. He says, I want in your life that there be nothing broken. Imagine that. God is thinking about wholeness, about every individual. And I'll prove you, I will show you which individuals he's referring to. He says, I want every individual 
to have nothing broken in your life. To have nothing broken in things that concerns you. Not only nothing broken, but nothing missing. Oh, glory. He says, I, I, I don't want to see you having missed things that are missing in your life. I don't want in your life to have gaps which have got nothing. Because I'm God, I, 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 I own everything. So I don't want a vacuum in your life. I want that everything be well, everything, everything, everything be well with you. And he says, those are my thoughts and my plans. Now I want to transfer that to 2023, ladies and gentlemen. That you and I must listen very carefully now. God says he wants in our personal, individual lives that there will not only be absence of trouble and chaos, but there will, should be nothing missing and nothing broken. Nothing missing and nothing broken. Now you see, now if over the years, 2022 going back, we didn't care about things that were missing, we didn't care about things that are broken, we didn't care, we, we, we felt it's okay with things broken and, and things missing. It is time. I've come to call you that 2023. Let it be a new year that God has brought us for new things. And we must also do new things. And start to believe God anew. To bring, to, to, to believe God anew. And bring, believe that God will bring change in our things. But it is something you must hear and believe. And develop faith in it. That 2023, man, I thank God everything is going to be all right. Uh, you, you start to believe that right now in the beginning of the year, you are believing and expecting that there will be nothing broken, nothing missing in my life. That, that's the thoughts and the plans of God. God is thinking. If you go to him now and say, hey, what are you thinking about TS? He will tell you that I, with the TS, I'm thinking of doing one, two, three for him and nothing missing and nothing broken and that everything be all right. That's the thoughts of God about you, ma'am, about you, daddy. But you've got to believe it, man. It doesn't just happen because God said it. it there must be, you, you've got to believe it and expect it to happen. Let's prove it. Let's go to, let's go to Psalm 37. Psalm 37. Oh, my God. Psalm 37, let's look at uh, verse 4. Oh, Lord. Now, watch. God says, these are, the, these are the, the folks that God want to do this thing that I'm talking about too. In verse 4, he said, hey, delight yourself also in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Why? Then he will give you the desires and the secret petitions of your heart. Hey, I couldn't do the Amplified. It says, delight yourself also in the Lord. And God will give you, God will give you, not sell you, not borrow you, but give you the desires, the secret petitions of your heart. Yes, mama. Yes, sir. Yes, young people. Yes, pastor. The Bible says God is looking at the desire of your heart. He's looking at your heart and see what you desire. The things that God has created in this world, which are his and you are his and he created them for you. He says, what do you desire this year? What do you desire, mom? What do you desire, daddy? What do you desire, pastor? What do you desire, uh, uh, Mr. Company Man and Mr. Businessman, Mrs. Business, business Lady? What do you desire in your, what do you want? In other words, God is asking, what do you want? You remember that question uh, Jesus asked Bartimaeus who was blind. He says, sir, what do you want? What do you want me to do for you? I'm God, I can do anything. Come on, tell me, what do you want? And Bartimaeus said, I want to see again. And Jesus said, receive your sight. And he did. Without prayer, without laying hands, without anointing with oil. Come on now. He just said, let it be. Because I, I, I'm God, man. Whatever you want, I can do it. But you've got to believe it. Now watch this. <laughs> he says, delight in the Lord. Now that's the snake, man. 
He said, delight in the Lord. There are people who do not delight in the Lord, but they want the Lord to give them the desires of their heart. Because they heard the Bible say so. They heard the Bible say, uh, God can give you the desires of your heart. But they didn't look at the condition. And the condition is, delight in the Lord. Come on now, delight in the Lord. In other words, enjoy God, man. Enjoy being a child of God and living by the word. You delight in the Lord by living according to the word of God. When God says do something, you say yes sir. When he says stop doing something, you say yes sir. When he says go somewhere, you say yes sir. And you go. When he says retreat, go back seven steps, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. And you don't say why. Man on Sunday. When you get up on Sunday and you're thinking of going to church, it's a delight. It's not a punishment. It's not a sacrifice. It's a delight going into the house of the Lord. David says, ah, 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 I rejoice with those who say, let's go to the house of the Lord. The Bible says when I choose, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm a free moral agent, when I choose to live, my life according to the word of God. And I just live my life according to the word of God. I take care of what I say. I say things that are, that are in line with the word of God. I don't just think nonsense in my mind. When some ugly thoughts come, I repel them and I chase them away in the name of Jesus. And I think positive thoughts according to the word. I am delighting in the Lord. When God says, give somebody something, I say, yeah. Because God says, create a vacuum. I want to fill it with something better, something, something new. You understand that? When, some, when God says, forgive, I say, yes, sir. And I don't forgive because uh, the thing didn't hurt me. I don't forgive because uh, the thing is, is minor. No, I forgive because God says I should do that. That means I delight in the Lord. So, friends... The Bible says, delight in the Lord and start by delighting in the Lord and the Lord will give you the desires of your heart right now in 2023. I'm here in the beginning of the year encouraging you, sir, and encouraging myself. Actually, I'm preaching this message to myself. I'm saying me, myself, I, 2023, God wants to do something new. God wants to do something better. God wants to provide something, but I must delight in the Lord. Because that's a condition. And remember, God says, the earth and the heavens will pass away, but not even one iota of the word will ever change. So God cannot change as much as his word cannot change. So I choose to believe what God says, and I live it. And I enjoy it. And I do it. Even if my flesh doesn't want to, even if my flesh is screaming, no, stop it, stop it, stop it. You are doing something stupid. I don't listen to my flesh. I listen to my heavenly father. That is to delight in the Lord. D did you get that? So the God wants to give you all things, nothing missing, nothing, nothing, nothing broken. Now, Psalm 84, 11 says, the Lord, God is a son. He will not withhold anything good. Anything good, ladies and gentlemen. He will not withhold anything good to them that walk uprightly. Huh? So uh, I, I must know how these things work. How these things work. He, he, he says he will not withhold. He will not stop giving me anything good. Anything good of this life. As long as I choose. To walk uprightly. Now imagine that. Living this life with all, with all your needs met. David says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want so my wants. Your wants are also met. Hello? Nothing missing, nothing broken in your life. C can you imagine that life? Just living life like that. Nothing missing, nothing broken. You just enjoy your life. And God is your daddy. He supplies. When something goes finished, he pours in. David says, my cup runneth over. 
God pours and it gets full. I say, Dad, it's full. I expect him to stop, but he keeps on pouring and he's laughing because he's enjoying seeing me enjoy what he gave me to enjoy. That's the life that God wants us to live, man. That is the Zoe life that God wants us to live before we die, before we go to paradise, before we get into heaven where the mansions are prepared. God wants us to enjoy that life. But he says, delight in the Lord. And I'll give you the desires of your heart. And he says, the Lord will not withhold anything good to them. To them, men and women, boys and girls, who walk uprightly. Who live this life. This very life. As an encouragement to other people. Who live this life as a blessing. Who live this life and showing the world that it can be done. It is possible. God says, uh, 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 you delight in me. I want to delight in you as well. I want to bless you, man. Man, I want to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. But you've got to delight in the Lord. Live for God. Before these things come, before, before everything comes, live for God. Yes, live that life, that, that, live that life, man, that life, that life, that life that blesses God. That life, man, that God smiles when he sees you. Live it. Live that life. Live that life that blesses God. Live that life that, that, that makes the Holy Ghost in you tick, man. Remember, the Holy Ghost is inside you. He has come to help you live it. He has come to, me to help you, uh, to enable you to do it. It is in the heart of the Holy Ghost. And I'm saying, child of God, 2023, let's, God brought us into this new year. We've never seen this year. All we know is 2022 going back. But this is a new year. And God brought us into it, I believe, for, to give us something new. To, to, to give us something new. To enable us to get into new things. But also, we must change and become and live new, a, a new life. Delighting in the Lord. Walking upright, living a right life. Day and night, everywhere, at the shopping mall, uh, in the flight, when I'm flying somewhere, and, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm driving somewhere, and, uh, and, and I'm preaching, and, uh, and after preaching, I've got to live right. I've got to delight in the Lord. I've got scripture to back me. That the Lord God Almighty will not hold anything good. So his plans, ladies and gentlemen, as I close, I, 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 like, I, I, like, I, like, I like Job 42, verse 2. I want to close with this, ladies and gentlemen. Job 42, verse 2. The Bible says, yeah. The Bible says, uh, I know that you can do all things. I know. That's the Amplified. I know you can do. You, Jehovah God, can do all things. And that no thought and no purpose of yours can be restrained or thwarted. I know. That's Job. He's saying this when everything is taken away, when everything is broken around his life and the, the, the enemy took away, killed all his children, took away his wealth, took away his wife, taught her mind to, 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 to say, to live a life of integrity is the worst stupid thing that one can do and, and all that and all that. And the friends tend against him, Lord, my goodness. But this man says, I know. Even if I'm in this condition, I know that your thoughts and your plans, and your purposes that you have for me, 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 Job, cannot be stopped by anything or anybody. Let me read it to you from the message, and I close. Ma, ma, ma. The Bible says, I'm convinced you can do anything and everything, and nothing and no one can upset your plans. Glory to God. Listen to Job. This is a man on the ash heap. This is a man who is in pain day and night. This is a man that's alone. Friends have turned away. The wife have turned away. The children are gone. The wealth is gone. It's just a, a piece of a human being. But he says, I know. I know. You can do anything. In other words, he was saying, you can change my circumstances. Because I know your thoughts. Your thoughts is to, is to give me peace, is to give me nothing broken, nothing missing in my life. And when he has confessed that, he says, uh, your thoughts 
and your plans can never be stopped by anyone. That means among the human beings and the devil and demon spirits and anything. That means circumstances and situations cannot stop the plans of God for you, child of God. Come on, put up a smile. Put up a smile and raise up your faith in God. And say, thank God. 2023, I'm rising up to expecting that uh, as I live right, as I delight in the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken will come my way. God says he will want to, he will not withhold anything good uh, that he wants to give me. And his plans for me, for 2023, will never be stopped by anyone or anything. God bless you. As we pray together right away. Daddy, thank you. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for encouraging us to change our perceptions, change our way of thinking, and pay, 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 uh, change our way of, of, of expectation. We, 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 we expect the negative and the worst. Thank God you want us to change that. To know that we are children of God and the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. Therefore, you can give me anything, anytime, anywhere, through any, any circumstance. And I thank you, Lord, for it as I pray for your people that even this year, let them see the hand of God, the giving hand of God, the protecting hand of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you're watching this telecast and you're not born again yet, you're not forgiven, would you pray this prayer? Say, dear Lord Jesus. This morning, I received the Lord Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for giving me this eternal life through Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. We believe if you've prayed that little prayer, you're born again. You're a child of God. Your sins are forgiven. Everything I was teaching about today, it's yours. But now you need a church where you must go to where you will be taught the word of God and will be loved, encouraged, and so on. We are here at Kingdom Life. If you want to come, we're just here by the main road. And if you live locally here at Shfranani, you can come. We shall love you. We shall teach you the word. You'll never be the same again. God bless you. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.